CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Man, I appreciate you guys. I just want to say quickly, because I know not everybody watches to the end of the video, but I want to say for all you guys that come here every time, you guys are absolutely, just absolutely great human beings. I got to say all the positive comments. I'm not always the most positive guy. You know, I get salty, and I love being real, and I love just, you know, being honest with you guys. The bottom line is, I really appreciate all of you that have stuck around and watched me all this time. You guys are awesome folks. Uh, give yourself a round of applause because you really deserve it. I love all each and every one of you guys to come here every time. So, appreciate you. But today's video is going to be Logathor, the force of thunder in your hand. Stick around. Now, I think a lot of you should know by now that I have a very, very distinguished taste for jump packs. I have what I consider the most elite jump packs in my arsenal, and I use the bejesus out of these things. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I use these a lot. Now, I use the egg roll, the JF egg roll. I have an Avapow, and now I have a Locathor, which I had, an, I had another Locathor, but I gave it to another subscriber. And Locathor has been one of these front runners that I really, really, really like their jump packs. And I'm going to say these are right up there and a lot cheaper than your, what's that other one? The no-go. The no-go. Yeah, the no-go's. N-O-G-O's. No-go jump packs. I have not been a fan of the no-go's. And I know a lot of people, it's controversial as all get out. But to be honest with you, over a period of time, the no-go's seem to fail quicker, faster, more often. That's from my experience. Other jump packs, the JF Eggwo uh, has been a sock, rock solid jump pack air compressor combo. And I'm hoping this one, now I've had this one for about a couple months and I've been using this extensively. And I know a lot of you are like, CP, stop talking, showing us. And I got a video that I'll either add into this while I'm talking so that you guys can watch it, but showing the actual air pressure on a real truck tire, 265, 75, 16, that uh, I took up to 36 PSI with this to show the pressure, and I don't know if I showed it at the end of it, but after that, it gave me two bars, so there's your pressure on it, and then it gives you a KPA bar, so your bar, KPA, what, if you're into that measurement, whatever, you know, there's a lot of people that come from overseas, but then you also have the jump start function on this, and the pump, <laughs> kind of loud, not exactly the most quiet thing on earth, but it is what it is. But this thing has another unique feature on this that we're going to talk about. You're going to want to check this out. We have a 400 lumen light, which is super awesome, especially when you're out working in the dark. Little SOS, you know, all that jazz. The rubber molding, and even the handle, it's got a nice cushy grip in it, which I really like. This is a very, very well thought up design. Little, there's your air input right there. We have USB charging right there. Input, export, the C. So we're not messing around with any funky cables. There's your input for your jump pack or for your jump starter wires. But that's not all this thing has to offer. Comes with a bag. Not exactly the most exciting thing in the world to add, but your cable, your air cord, not exactly the longest, but it does get the job done. Let's open up your jump start cables and see what's in your accessories here. We have another bag for the cables, I'm assuming. Cables, not the worst cables in the world. They seem of decent quality. These are 6AGW clamps. They're okay. I don't. The problem is you just don't get a good clamp anymore, unfortunately. I don't know. Other than Core Automotive, that's really the only one. There's your USB-C charging cables. You know, it comes with two cables, the USB and the USB-C. C to C, which is nice. They give you that. And your accessories. Four nozzle accessories. Large storage bag. We got all that covered. Starting this, I'm very confident this will jump start a lot of stuff. But the features with this thing, and we're going to get into some cold weather jump starting with it. I use these things all the time. This is going to be my primary go-to. I have been using the JF Iguo, which I have another one of those that they have updated and sent me. Locathor sent me this one which I was pleased to check out. This is their new Apex, Apex, 
A part X, a part X, a part X, a part X. Logothel a part X, which is extremely worth the money because the feature on this is super cool. We showed you everything else on this. There's your specs on the bottom here. Pressure, 10 to 150 PSI within 2% accuracy here. We have the output, USB-C, 5 volt, 3 amp, 9 volt, 3 amp, blah, 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 blah. Polarity red and black. Charging temperature, 32 degrees, negative 40. Operating temperature, storage, negative 4. And a 400 lumen light. So, your warning labels, all that stuff. But, and your specs on it, 1500 all right, so a lot of you are probably wondering what's the cool feature. Well, the cool feature about this jump pack is, boom, shakalaka. It has a replaceable battery pack. So that way, if yours goes bad, which doesn't going to take a while, you can replace it or open it up, probably replace it yourself. I like this idea because it doesn't keep you locked down to having to buy a new, new jump pack when you have some sort of fa failure or whatnot. Very easy to replace, then the tool itself is still there, but now you can get a battery for it, replace it, put it back in, boom shakalaka. Love the digital display. Love, 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 love the digital display. I wished, uh, it also can be used as a voltmeter. Honestly, if you're trying to check your battery voltage, this will give you battery voltage when you're hooking it up, so that's also nice. But just a fantastic jump pack all around for the money, in my opinion. And it didn't get very hot. I should have done a deal on that on the hot to see how hot it is. Let's give you a little demonstration on the uh, actual decibel level. All righty. The meter's up. Looks like we got my normal voice. What up, guys? CP the Toilet. Woo! 92.9. That's my normal decibel. Let's check it out and see what the Locathor punches out. For... I think you get the point. Nonetheless, I think it's just about, you know, less than my, a little bit less than my outside voice. So, and none, nonetheless, this is a great jump pack, and I'm pretty excited about it. Looking forward to using this more. Really give this thing the old once over and one two punch, bam, bam, and see, you know, how much we can get out of it. See how long it's going to last uh, so far. My Chlor Automotive is still the longest lasting jump pack that I've had. My Noco is completely dead. That one lasted a year, maybe, on top of that. So, uh, no, the Chlor Automotive is going on two and a half years. That's my number one jump pack. And then my number two jump pack. I got the Top Don was an absolute garbage. I, I got to tell you, I would not buy the, the Top Don one over this. This is absolutely 10 times better than the Top Don one. I had the Top Don one. No good. That was terrible. And then we have the Avapal. Pretty nice one. That's a 6,000 amp. So I, I'm going to rank this one. This one's going to be probably one of my favorite go-to ones. This is the one. Oh, the Gulu. That's a pretty nice one, too. The Gulu works pretty good, too. Gulu's right up there being one of the hot tickets. So, anyways, guys, that's the video for you. I hope you like it. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Leave your comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment box. Let me know what you think. Maybe you like Locathor. Maybe you don't. Anyways, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.